Simply Don, the podcast network. I don't even know what to say to you anymore. Dude, I've been going through so much right, trouble. Talk close to the mic. So I've been can... going through so many problems. Okay, these what days. is that? What does that matter with me? You're blowing your fucking only opportunity. Dude, I've. Dude, I've... you say this every time. I know I do. You say this every time. I know I do. You chase Mole away. I'm trying to get Mole back. You fucking start this shit and then you don't show up on time. You fucking just don't even call. You don't even tell anybody. Friday was. I don't the give worst a fuck. I don't life. give a fuck. Friday was the worst day. It of my doesn't life. matter. What's the best thing you have going in your life? Things have got to work out eventually. Here we go. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Don, the podcast network studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. I'm Don. And I'm Scary Perry Caravello. And that's it. Well, this is week two of Mole not being here because of Perry ripping at his hair. And it would be impossible for you guys out there to know, but we were supposed to tape this show two days days ago, ago. but you didn't come. I had so many fucking problems. What did you have a problem with? I don't even want to get into it. Don't even ask me about no, Friday. No, I'm going to talk to you yeah. about it because no. you fucked up the show. Wait a minute. All of a, Oh, so you can fuck up things and then just act like you're not, oh, it doesn't matter to me. I don't want to talk about it. At 4.30, we get a call. I'm talking to your management, Nick, and all I hear from him is you're going to be here. He had a tough day in court. He's on the way now. And then I had a fucking radiator blow. Oh, so what? So what? You don't. Oh, so you don't need to call anybody about your responsibilities. You pile of shit. You you fucking pile of shit. Don't look at me like you're right. You are so out of fucking line. I'm wrong. Yes, you are. And don't act like you did something that's. Oh, it's okay. Fuck you, man. You're completely out of line. Completely. Because you're the least professional person I've ever known in my life. I was just so distraught with what happened in court. Okay. Well, what happened in court? Well, it's it's all these continuations and the fucking expense yeah. that's going through the roof that I can't afford. Okay, you want to hear something? That's the way they work it, dude. The person that's being sued or the person that they're trying to get something back from has a lot more money to pay for lawyers. They can keep it going forever. And then what happens is this. The person, the underdog, the person that's right gets screwed. It's because they don't have the money to go through it the legal way. Mm-hmm. I told you that before. But you don't listen. You put all your eggs in this basket that you never had a shot of winning. Well, right now it's after my brother and his F and Yeah, wife okay, and, right. And that, that load of shit. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's one thing after another. And that's what's disgusting. I don't understand. Tell me, tell me how I'm wrong. So far you're right. But it, my mom wrote a will. And in the will, it states that I, as well as my oldest brother, get a certain amount of money. But that certain amount of money was stolen from us. So we're trying to get it back. And that's not going to be an easy battle to to, uh, to be able to get the effing money back the right way. It's what I call a losing battle. You know, uh, what you did to Yergi... He is, Yergi? Fur- he is furious at you. What are you, you. talking about, Yergi? He's furious at you. What did I do to Yergi? He was, I, I haven't seen that guy in ages. Well, did you or did you not embarrass his girl? What? You mean the chick that was here last week? Natasha, yes. I don't know what the hell. What do you mean you don't know what the hell? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, play that phone call from Yergi. Don't embarrass. What the fuck is going on? I've got a big problem with what's going on. That's what. That's what's going on. Yorgi has big problems. Because I sent Natasha, Natasha, to jazz up your show, to get, add some life with her sexuality. And I thought, you know, she creates a little sexual tension with Big Three. New Big Three, she grabs someone's dick, she, she waggles her tongue, you know, adds some pizzazz to the show. But under no circumstances was I okay with uh, Perry Carvel. 
uh, making uh, uh, pass at, at Natasha. I didn't she make a pass at Natasha. Not to be touched by that pig. I didn't make Joker a touch man. Natasha. Listen. Come back, piece of crap. I, it makes me sick to my stomach to think of his Lies. disgusting, frizzy hair. It's a lie. Sleeping across Lies. her tender cheeks. What do you mean it's a lie? I didn't this touch is, Natasha. This is unacceptable. I do Natasha not want Barry to touch my Natasha ever again, okay? You tell him, and, and I will come down to studio, to Big Free Podcast, to make sure and to set things straight. I am pissed off, Don Barris. Pissed off. I come, I, I'm going to tell the Joker man where he can put his disgusting, frizzy hair. Goodbye. Natasha was over there. I'm over here. You didn't insult her. You didn't say what, things what did to her. I, you what, didn't what, say what that did you wanted to, to fuck her. She said, eh. No, but she, like, get away right. from she me. wanted nothing to do with you. She, she, she and, and maybe gave me the, and I said the same thing. No, you didn't. You said, come over here and fuck me. You said all Liar! these. Liar! Listen. To, I never said that I wanted to, to fuck Listen her. to the podcast. And, I don't and, and see saying that I wanted well, to okay, fuck her. Okay, you don't remember, but you did. I wasn't interested in Natasha. Well, you got Yergi pissed off. Yergi's furious. Well, somebody, then somebody probably made me want to fuck her or, or make it like I want want me to fuck her. No, I, I actually I, think I you I were said, just being a fucking pig. I know like you I uh, might have said something about, uh, why don't you come over here? Because uh, um, Stephen Brody Stevens uh, says he can't have her all over him. I remember that. No, you said to come over and fuck you. You told us that she's here to fuck. That's what you said. That's Oh, yeah, I probably did, knowing me. No, Knowing you? Yeah, knowing me. She's here all by herself. Well, look at what came out of her mouth. All she kept saying was she wanted to fuck. No, she said fuck now. Right, fuck now. So fuck that, you now, yeah, fuck him now, well, but, but here, not fuck me now. Right, she wanted nothing to do with you. And what happened was this, is you made her look like a slut on our podcast. And I, made, I at, made her look like a slut. Yes. She made herself look no, like a slut. she didn't. She made herself look like a slut. You're out of your fucking mind. Fuck heart. no. Fuck no. I Natasha. Fuck no. She made herself look like the slut. You said I, that. What? You said that a couple times. I'll say it again. She made herself look like a well, slut. Well, don't do that. That's not the point. Well, then I'll say it a third time. She made herself look like okay, a slut. But the point is, is fuck that no, Perry, fuck no. Perry, what you do as a person is just disgusting. What I do as a person is fantastic. No, it isn't. Now, who thinks it's fantastic? What I do as a human being is great. You know what I'd also like to know about? What's the deal with this movie you were going to do? Oh, you mean with um, Carol? Is that Aunt Carol? Aunt Carol, yeah. So let me make sure that I understand this. She called you, and what did she say to you? She wanted to. She was going to fly me to Florida. Now this is the girl that's the aunt of the girl who, of who you foot Heather's raped. Heather's aunt. Yeah, Heather, the girl you foot raped, and you claim that you're gonna you're gonna make love to Carol. That's what I. That was what my proposal, and Carol said no way. What happened? Tell me. Carol says she's playing. She's doing the celibate thing. I didn't like that factor, but Carol's doing her celibate stuff. Is she? She's, yeah. She doesn't want to have sex with any guys or any girls or anybody. So I go, then fuck the dog, and she says she's not like that. You always have, have a remark to make. Yeah. Well, I'd like to know about that movie. She said that uh, they were going to give me a cameo spot in this thing that's going on in Florida. And that it was some pool scene and that uh, I would be the, the cameo star or yeah, that's just doing a, a uh, scene out by a pool. I was originally supposed to get over 2000 Why did it go And down? then it turned on the 500 Okay. Because it started at 2000 it dropped down the 500 Then when she said that uh, she wouldn't sleep with me, then I says, then it's back up to 2000 again. And then what happened from there? I I had no written contract. I had no emailed contract. So it was done from then on? Done meaning no go. Correct. I didn't go nowhere. All right. 
Another thing going on that I'm getting a lot of people coming in. They're writing. I'm seeing videos. Nuka's Nation is furious at you. Oh. Rucka Rucka Ali has called you out, and now Nuka's Nation is after you. What are they going to do? Come out here and beat my ass or something? I don't know what they're going to do. But I think that today, I think that you should probably at one point apologize. For nothing. Rucka Rucka is nothing but a good guy. What's he your didn't do shit for me in a positive way. Everything was negative. He tries. He writes a song saying that I'm gay. Writes a song saying that I'm that I'm uh, that I'm a, a a fucking faggot. Well, you know the thing is, it was a parody. I don't give a fuck what it was. You don't make fun of me, me, and nope. not pay me for it. Really? Yeah, I didn't get paid for that song. So, how, you don't see how it helps us. Is it helping us or yes. is it downgrading us? I, well, it's not downgrading me. I guess it always downgrades me. Everything downgrades me. Well, everything insults me. Everybody oh, but you're me perfect. Like you're perfect. I'm not perfect. You're far no. from it. Exactly. I'm far from it. As a matter of fact, what you do is you're, you've fucked up more than you've helped. <clears throat> First of all, you chase away Mole. I can't. He I, won't even return a phone call. Has he called you at all? No, he hasn't called me. Well, you know what today was. Today is the one year anniversary of this show starting. Back at eight broadcasting, October fifteenth, two thousand ten. Today oh. is the one year anniversary. Okay, we've gone through a year of more problems than October any. October fifteenth. Yeah. Okay. And this and how do we celebrate it with no mole, with you starting a fight with Nuka Nation? Starting a fight, Nuka Nation's I didn't after start you. nothing. Uh, uh, they did it to themselves. Nuka Nation has declared war on you. And my honest opinion, you should apologize. What's their declaring war upon? What? 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 Because you put down. Rucka Rucka Ali. Oh, I put it down Rucka Rucka Ali. Boo hoo hoo. He's a high school little bitch, okay? The fucking punk. Yeah, well, okay. And and so now we've got Nucka Nation all, all over our shit. Yeah, because there are a bunch of little brat bitches that can't take a fucking little, little criticism when all I've been doing is getting criticized since 1960 fucking four. By who? By everybody. I was born in 63. A year later, I've been criticized. When were you born? You're exactly I was dead. born five days before JFK got whacked. Isn't that funny? Maybe he was already dead. And maybe you're the spirit of JFK. No, I was born first. I was born on the 17th. Maybe he was dead before all that happened. And JFK got killed five days later. You notice how conspiracy theorists think that the whole thing was set up? Did you see the way his head blew off? That could Crazy. easily have been paper mache. Oh my God! What's the matter? It's it's just sad. Let's get back to the point here, Perry. The Nucka Nation hates us because of you, and I think it's time that you apologize to Rucka Rucka Ali. You apologize to Nucka Nation. I have to I have to kiss ass to these guys that I have no clue who they are, other than the shit that they write on Twitter, and on Facebook about me. Yeah, I'm that's... not taking their fucking trash. You're not taking their what? I'm not taking their trash. And that's not what you said the first time. You said something like traps. I, I, it was, look, I have a problem when I'm trying to say three words in one, so I, I was speaking a little fucked up. So, yeah, I'm not taking their shit, bottom line. They, 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 they got attitudes, they're kids. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay, you got Yergi mad, you got Nuck and Let Nation. Let Yergi be mad. Yergi's me. mad because he doesn't know what the fuck he's mad at or about the fucking pot-smoking nut. I think he does a lot more. Call me. Holy shit! Oh! oh. Hell yeah. Keep him away from me. Keep sit down. Mole, away. sit down. Stay Perry, away. sit down. Stay Perry, you tried away. to rip his hair apart the last Stay time. Away. Sit down. I want to thank you. I want to give you a big hug for coming Grab back. Seat. Grab a seat. I want to give you a big hug for coming I back. Just stopping by. I wanted to say hi. I wanted to... Can I put my cans on? Yeah. Put those cans on, baby. Oh, yes. 
I hope you're back for good. That's I all wanted, I can say. I wanted to stop by because it's very special today. As fans of the Big Three and the uh, entire Nakanation Nation knows today's a very special day for us. Yes, it is. Well, first off, may I ask a question of you gentlemen? Yes. Shoot. Can you forgive a pig-headed old fool with no eyes to see, no eyes to hear for all these years? I really don't know what, what the do you fuck mean? you're talking about. It's Scrooge. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, so what's going on, you dudes? Okay. We're hoping that you're back to stay. And forgive me for pulling on the plugs because that was you not, know what? Not, was not nice of me to do, and it was completely Yeah, I'll pull wrong. your plugs. What were you saying, Mo? Go ahead. Perry rudely interrupted you. Well, as a lot of people know, I left the podcast a couple weeks ago to explore some new opportunities because I was um, being brutalized by one of the other members of the Big Three who shall remain nameless. Well, I'll say this. It wasn't me. Okay. Okay. I'm I'll guilty. Even, I'll give you a better hint. It was Perry. I'm guilty. So I had to branch out on my own. And let me tell you, I went on a little bit of a vision quest. And I spoke to some of the key members of Nuck Nation who really made me feel good. We were just talking about that. How They've been par- nothing but supportive. Rock has been nothing but a champion for us. He actually wrote another song. He made another song for I us. I don't know where he finds the time. He, this guy is pumping out hits every week. He's like a, he's like a hit factory. But I'll tell you this. He's pump- How old is this I tell you guy? What, he's pumping out more hits in the Brewers and the Tigers. Am I right, Dan? Fuck yeah. Okay. So everyone said I should go back and do the podcast. And then and then I was like, okay. But then they were like, okay, well, when is it? Like, oh, it's Friday. So I, you know, I was out there Friday. No one showed up. So then I came back today to see if anything was going on. And because here's what happened. I kind of forgot what happened. Oh, I'll remind you. Perry, for no reason, just started ripping at your hair. I Whoa. didn't rip at your hair. I pulled on one of your plugs. Wow. Does have plugs? Well, I don't know if people know that I was in a terrible burn accident at Meineke Discount Mufflers a long time ago in Milwaukee. I remember that was you when you were a teenager. Yeah. You were telling me about yeah. that. So, you know, there was some hair issues, but it's all been rectified. I knew I had to come back to the Big Three podcast because this was the only place where I would find the answer to the question that plagues me. What's that? Who that lady going to that movie? Uh, a lot of people have asked about that, and I, I think people are a little more confused than anything else. Hey, can we do something real quick, Mole? Because as you were walking in, we were talking about Perry and the Nuck Nation problem that we're having, that I've said that Perry should apologize to Rucka Rucka Ali, the Nuck Nation, and everyone that's a fan of those guys. Uh, but do you think we should play the new song? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't want, I don't want Perry to get in any more trouble. Thank you. I don't understand why you're thanking him. Well, he says he doesn't want to see me getting in any more we trouble. We don't need another general Superman Ghostbusters. No, well, he's year. pissed off Yergi. Yergi's furious at him because he basically tried to foot rape oh, uh, God. Yergi's girl last week. She was sitting where, where Mole is, yeah, and yeah. I'm all the way over okay, here. Okay, it doesn't matter. And she just blew me oh, up and I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yergi's not mad at you. I I'm making said, it all up. Look, you can, no, make, you you look, can say I, whatever you want to about this Okay, chick. I'm just telling you. Yergi's I don't give a fuck. I don't care what Yergi is. I, it, and I frankly don't give a shit. She was way over there. How far? How many feet is that from there? Talk into the mic. Why is it how many about feet? feet? It's always about feet with you, man. Everything's about feet. How far away is there. that seat from this seat? Exactly. All right, let me ask you a question exactly. then. Now, you tell me the truth right now. When she took her shoes off, you weren't... She had cute feet. You weren't gawking at her feet? A little bit. Rucka Rucka made another song, and I think we should play that now. Have you heard this song, Mole? No, but I'm ready to dance. All right. Then here it is with the podcast premiere of the new hit song from Rucka Rucka Ali. Here's Yo Perry. Ruckus knuckers. Let them try to find me. Let them try to find me. Sounds like Perry. It is. Show them all who the king is. I like make their threats. Rucka Rucka Ali. 
He's a cocksucker and he wants to suck my dick. I gotta beat his ass. Back before you started shit, shit. I was down with you, but now you fuck with fuckers, knuckers, no. I won't count with you. Up inside your mansion, fat bitches sat with you. Randy Callahan busted off in your hand with you. What you got in your hat full of tricks? Good idea. Harry has HIV. What? Never. Never. Whoa. Never. Whoa. 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 about Mr. Capone I'm I'm uh, I feel proud to have the shirt that uh, Michael Anthony Wagner gave me when I uh, saw met up with him down in San Pedro about a week or two ago Can we just ago. get back to the point Wait a minute How That's wait a minute hold on let me yeah, ask you something that I have on. Wait a minute that's what you got out of that whole song I'm concerned that he has HIV I don't, I don't have HIV You just said you do I I think he, legally Rucka he has Rucka the time. Right. said that I right. have no, But I also, have we never heard about the fact that Randy Callahan was straight and you were the one who seduced him. I never seduced him. Why would it say that? It. It just said it in the yeah, movie. And you think They're twisting think... it be, to make me look like no, I'm a well, faggot. You heard it. I, I heard, heard you it. talking. I don't give a fuck I about the song. Randy Callahan the song talking. is bullshit. It's in the movie. The song is bullshit. But it's very The movie's fucking full of shit. What movie? Our movie. What do you mean? Windy City Heat, if you're going to make it look like I'm gay, fuck Who's you. Who's making it look like you're gay? We always thought in the movie, we thought that you blew Randy Callahan and he jerked you I'm off. wrong. No, wrong. The other way. You jerked him off and he blew you. One of the other. Exactly. It's we one just way. found out that you seduced him and he was a straight wrong, man. Wrong, motherfucker. Then why would he say that on this song? Because Rucka Rucka Ali wants to twist everybody's yeah, mind. Yeah, but it was your voice saying it to Randy Callahan in the song. It was not my voice. It sounded like you. That was not my voice. You know voice. what? Play the beginning again. Just let me hear this. Ruckus Knuckers. That's Ruckus Knuckers. Let no. him try to find me. Let him try to find me. Say that's you. Let him so try to find you. And you try to seduce me. Stop. Stop the song. Try to seduce so me. So it was Callahan. your voice. 
Let him try to find me, I said. Yeah, and then yeah, you say, okay. hey, Randy Callahan, can Later I in the song, have, have you have say that. Right. You. Because we find out that Randy Callahan was straight, and then you say that Randy you Callahan was gay. That's your side of the story. But we just heard otherwise. I don't give a shit what you hear otherwise. You Who said it was jail? your voice. You even showed me a fucking uh, uh, E.T. clip that showed a 12-year-old kid that, that got raped. On ET. That got raped. By Randy what? Callahan. You could have set what? that whole thing up with extra. It wouldn't I be should've. too hard. Yeah, you, you, you see? I now you're saying up, you should have. I should have set up what you happened to me. You set that up years I ago. You set, set that whole thing up and you made no, it. No, God damn it. it real. Fuck you. I, I want to apologize for all the things I've said bad about Randy Callahan yeah, over absolutely. the years. Yeah, absolutely. We didn't know that, Perry, that you were I want, a victim I want to get out of here. Perry. I, re- I really want to get out of here. You guys are driving me nuts. You're making me fucking So sick. he was the victim here. Yes. I, think I so. was the victim here. No. Well, not Completely. according to the song. Oh, God. Hey, can we talk about why today's a special day? Well, today's the one-year anniversary of our show. Remember when we first had Ace Broadcasting? We were young, we were naive, we didn't know what was going on, and now we're established podcast stars. Yeah. You're all podcasters. Yep. One year later. Well, can I tell you guys something? I'd like sure. to, I came here because it's our anniversary, and I would like to celebrate. Oh. I brought some... Delightful champagne. Oh. oh, Christ. Do you have any glass? I can't drink. Do you have any cups? I can't drink. I'll get some just to say. I'll have a sip and that's it. Um, And I also brought gifts. You're great with that. I only wish I was able to. Remember anniversaries? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right now, I, you know, Interesting. I, even, I even forgot about when we started, the exact date we started at Ace. Typical man forgetting the anniversary. Happy anniversary! <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll tell you. All the bullshit that's happened over the past week or so, I feel completely different now that we're celebrating this big day. One year, guys. Congratulations. Did you pass that over to Scaremaster? I sure will. <laughs> to Mo Don Barris and Rocka Ali. Okay, put it there. Put it there, everybody. All right. Cheers, Scaremaster. Cheers, Cheers Dan. Whoa, you're thirsty. You're spilling it on me. Well, I brought gifts. You brought gifts? Yes. Oh, I I, I don't have a gift for you, though. You, and I guarantee you, you, you I give, guarantee you, Perry doesn't have a gift for you. Well, that's not what it, anniversaries are about. This is I'm the sorry, one year. I don't have gifts for anybody. Well, this is the one year anniversary. So it is the, of course, Perry, it's the. Anniversary. No. I think traditional gift is the Columbus for, Day. No, the, first one. First, first gift. Anniver- first year first anniversary. First year anniversary. The of, traditional uh, gift is. What kind of thing is it? Lead? No. Is it gold? I don't get it. Don't get it. It's not the silver anniversary twenty five. It's, it's not the gold anniversary the, fifty. It's not the diamond seventy five. It's the paper anniversary. It is. Yeah. The paper anniversary. There you go. So I wanted to give you guys something made of paper. Okay. So, Scare Master, I got you something. Thank you. It's very, um, I got you something I think will help you because you've been really uptight lately. And I got you this book. If you would oh, like to you. Read, the, uh, read the title, please. It's uh, Ron Kardashian's 30 Second Solution. Transform your body, business, relationship, and life in just seconds at a, uh, in just seconds at a time. That's Rob Kardashian. Wow, that's a great oh, no, that's, gift. That's uh, forward by uh, Daniel... Daniel Amen, MD, author of the New York Times bestseller, uh, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life. Yeah, he's he's not related to the other Kardashians. No, I know. He's way better. And Dan, I... No, you know you what? Don't, book? I don't... I'm not into books. Oh. Uh, because, you see, a lot of the stuff that I read, I'm so busy either doing business, doing acting, doing comedy. Yeah. A lot of fucking... So I'm doing so much of that. I don't have a lot of oh, time man. to read. I'll read magazines, but well, I was gonna give you a book. Don't do all night. Is there I any? Of, what can I give you? I gotta give you some paper. Do you have money on you? Yeah, money's but made out. All of paper. money is paper. I can give you some cash. You know what would be nice? I don't know how much money you have on you, but if you gave me all your money, I would like. I got like two bucks on me. That's all you have. Check in your secret places. I know you have secret places. Oh, my sock. My sock. Hold on. Ah, oh, I got my cash in my sock. I always forget that. Here, what do you have? Let me here. see. 
Oh. God. It's mo- it's mostly twenties, but there's some fifties and hundreds too. Let me see. Hey, could would you, you help? Would you help a? Uh... Could you, you give me the money? That's good. <sighs> hey, would you do me a favor? I... Take a picture of Perry with his. Drooling, gear. Oh, hold up your book, scare master. Drooling and and, and go over, over my dad. Go over my dad. That I'm broker than one, shit, two, three, and I need four. some cash, and I'm being one, two, three, yeah, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, four, five. Oh, it's too close one, up. Two, three, it's all close four, up. Five. Hey, one, Mary Jane. Two, three, Mary Jane's here. Five, one, she said, four, give me that camera, Walter. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Happy Mary Jane. Happy anniversary, Mary Jane. And the producer's Thank back. Thank you. Thank you, Mole. That was very nice. I got Mary, here, Mary Jane. Got you a paper gift too. Those are season tickets to every show at the Hollywood Bowl next year for 2012-2013 season. Whoa! Um, it's an orchestra pit. That's the, all the numbers that you call. They they have your numbers and stuff on there. Don, you should be taking a picture. But of you her could face. sell those those. Bo- it's a box at the Hollywood Bowl for the season. You could sell them for like I like the they go for like a grand a show. So if you don't use them for that show, sell them for like a thousand bucks. And you gave me over a thousand dollars here. You that's are real. cash though, because you don't want the book. And I don't get anything. You got but the first gift. A book. Yeah, Ron no Kardashian. I got no 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 money. Perry, if you're so broke, maybe what you should do is that when you have an opportunity in life, you shouldn't fuck it up. What like, happened? Well, you know, we were supposed to do the show the other day, and Perry didn't show up. I had a radiator yeah, blow. Okay. And what they, the heck? And I went and I went with my with the uh, AAA guy to my mechanics, Uh-oh. and I was just so fucking pissed. Where's your mechanic? In Canoga Park. Scare Master, seriously, when are you going to let me get under that hood and fix that thing for you? <laughs> you are not the mechanic that has worked on my car really? since I've owned it. Yeah, neither is your mechanic because you keep breaking down yeah, the freeway absolutely. coming here. Oh, hey, is that God, the phone? you guys are fucking Is that the phone? Freaks. Get the fuck Hold out on. of here. Send that call through, please. Hello, all. Guess who? Hey, Mr. Jackie Adams. Hey, Mr. what's happening? I'm calling Adams. to wish the happiest of anniversaries to the big three. Oh, but I must you. say, my heart is bruised and battered to think not all of you are there. I'm here. I know what you're talking about. I'm here. Wall's here, finally. Okay. Is my mind playing tricks on me, or do I hear Walter back in the phone? Yeah, He's I'm here. How are phone. you, Mr. Adams? How are you? I'm fine. The question is, how are you? I'm cool. That you most certainly are. <laughs> Mr. Barnes. what happened? Did Perry apologize to Walter? Well, no, I apologize to Shut the Mo. fuck up. Yes, he did well, apologize. Well, I, I certainly hope he apologized. And let me ask this. Did Perry also apologize to Ruckers Knuckers? Uh, Ruckers yeah. Knuckers uh, yeah. can no. kiss my ass because they well, owe well, me, listen, motherfucker. Listen, I have let to him say, talk. I think the Knucker Nation has every right to be disappointed in you, Scare Master. They got Some no say right they because could be they're the next huge political punks. party. Though, can I tell you something? Yeah. I prefer teabagging. Oh, Mr. Adams, I didn't think you were a tea party person. No, 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 no. Listen, not the conservative movement. I'm more a fan of dipping one's dangling testicles into another's orifice. Yes, yes? Yeah, yeah I, know. I think so I know what you're talking like about. That. Listen, enough political talk. It's time to celebrate the reunion of Jump. the big three. Jump. Let's have a rib tickler, yeah, shall we? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. What in the middle of a jellyfish? His jelly button. Anyone? His jelly button. His jelly button. Absolutely correct and adorable. Yeah, I Toodles think all. See, Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. He's using again. Is he? Oh, fuck. He's so high. Do you understand what's going on? Every, he's everything, back on the HN. Every single thing that's going on fuck. here is unbelievable. Who gave him the heroin? Scare master. Because if we lose, if we lose if, Mr. Adams, if Mr. Adams starts doing HN like I do, he goes down that same path that I did. We're screwed. More than screwed. We I don't no supply nobody nothing. I'm not even. Christ, isn't it funny how your hose went out the other day? Yeah. yeah. Hose. What'd you do? Uh, fucking cut it? Did you get into my fucking car and on put the a freeway, slice on the freeway? Yeah, I jumped yeah. in there on the freeway and did it. Are you that fucking stupid? Do you Perry? think maybe yeah. it was Knuckers Nation? Oh. I don't know. That's possible too. Oh, that as long is as you don't very... leave your car out in the street. Do well, there's no the way street? of telling it's your car. You can't tell it. You driving the truck? I got the truck. You don't have anything that. that lets people know it's your truck, so you should be fine. 
Do you well, have anything on your car that would identify you maybe. as the owner? What? Well, yeah. I'm not going to say. What? Perry. I'm not what, saying. What do you have on there? I got a... a One um, of those rainbow stickers or the equal sign? No, it's... It, it, my name is on the uh, front windshield. Oh, what? God. My name is on my windshield. Oh. Scaremaster Caramelli? No. You what? know... Why is your my name old, on the my my computer guys years ago gave me a um thing that said scary Perry rules. What? And that's on my uh the, Why would you do that? Put a poster on your windshield? How do you see when you're driving? It's not a poster. It's it's a um a decal. Yeah, that, that goes oh, up at the top. Scare master. Mm. Well, you know what we should do? Uh, we should give the fans, because we haven't had many people get in touch with us lately, uh, it's time once again for our $10 shout-out. $10 shout-out! Now, if you've never heard the show before, our $10 shout-out is a segment of the show where we can actually let you, the home listener, the fans, get in touch with us and kind of participate in the show. Today, we've got a bunch of shout-outs, and if you want to be part of the $10 shout-out fund, remember, send $10 cash no legal papers. We don't need that harassment. You send that to 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 90046. Again, 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 90046. So send that $10. Now let's see what we got today. We've got a few today, actually. All right, this first one I'll read. Hello, Big Three. I'm a huge fan. Hi. Of, well, it's actually I'm saying it to you, so you don't need to respond to that. Uh, I'm a huge fan, and I'm relieved that you are continuing the podcast. I would like to thank God, but I lost my religion after listening to Perry's rant about not believing in birthdays and holidays. Oh, jeez. You well, turned this guy against God? I didn't turn him against God. He turned so he himself against God. He just said he God. did. He turned himself against God. What God would require people not to celebrate these important days? A Those are not important sh- days. A pretty shitty one at best. Those are not important days. They're not well, according in the Bible. to this guy, they are. In the Bible, it doesn't say anything about celebrating birthdays or holidays. It, other it than, mentions Columbus Day. Other than, yes, other than Jesus' so. birthday. It says Columbus Day. I think it does In the more. Bible, it yes. says nothing about it Columbus. It does. It says Columbus Day. That's why we get it off from work. Right. That is not a biblical holiday. Let me continue on here. On one of your podcasts, I heard you guys mention Sheba, Perry's former lover. Am I wrong to think Perry hasn't gotten over her, him yet? After hearing Perry's reactions, I still think he misses her or him. Sheba's a very exotic name. Did she have an exotic look to go along with her name? I picture someone from the cast of Cats. Perry can have my $10 if he talks about three things. How did you meet her or him? Was Sheba actually a cat? Did it have a rough tongue? Describe one time you made love to her. In detail, please. What music did you play while you made sweet love to it? I would imagine it was jungle noises. I've added another $10 if you can post a picture of him or her. I have included a picture of what I think Sheba looks like. He, she was very scrumptious a la the meal ticket you described he or her at. Look at this. You see that? Ah, oh, Rum Tom Tiger. Yeah, from Cats. Uh, this is from Tim D. from Queens. P.S. Was Perry ever in Cats? I don't know. Were you ever in Cats? No. Never? I also hear that he was being mentioned in the running for the new Wolverine movie since Hugh Jackson dropped out. Is that true? I have no idea. Well, somebody would have said something to you. I don't think it would be hard for Perry to lose 200 pounds to get the part. Well, that's nice. And this guy gave us $20. Everybody, let's put it together. Here we go. To Wolverine. 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 All right, Mole, you want to read the next one? I sure do. God damn it. What happened? You spilt it? I just spilt on myself. And on the floor of the secret location in West Hollywood, California. First, I would really like to hear Scaremaster tell us the name of this, sh- tell everyone the name of the champagne, because maybe they'll send us. Something. I don't even know. Voiv. <laughs> uh, it's a brute. It's a it's a uh, Voiv. 
How do you pronounce that word, Mo? C L I C Q U O T. Just say it. Click quote. Uh, Ponsadin. I don't understand what French. you're saying. Do it like it's a commercial for it. This is the, when I'm thirsty. Go for it. When I when I when I'm straight and silver. No, no. Okay, when I'm drunk. No, or when I'm straight. <laughs> when I'm thirsty. When I'm thirsty. I want to drink some champagne. I pick up a bottle of what the fuck is the name of this? What? Vilve Clicquote Pan Sardine. God, it sounds like you created it. Delicious. Okay. All right, I'll read the next letter. Okay. Well, this is a really long letter. Good lord. I'm a Canadian listener, a huge fan of the Big Three Podcast and the cult movie classic, Windy City Heat. As you may or may not know, Windy City Heat and the Big Three Podcast are extremely popular up here in the great right North Canada. However, we Canadian fans are in a conundrum. Recently, the Canadian Parliament has put a ban on all Windy City Heat DVD sales, which is proposed by Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper and the Harper administration. The film has been blacklisted into the banned media list due to his, quote, extreme homophobic humor, degradation towards women, and its anti- Socialist undertones, which was evident in Mr. Caramello's performance as the racist, intolerant, nihilistic, don't give a shit, sports B.I. Stone Fury, as stated by the Prime Minister. Which is complete bullshit. Keep in mind that we Canucks do not have the same civil liberties as free, 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 free speech that you, well, it's fine, I couldn't say free speech, that you Americans enjoy. With that being said, the Big Three podcast and anything associated with the Big Three is also under the crosshairs of the Canadian Parliament and also and are seeking to censor the podcast completely. I'm sure that you Americans have seen the news of the major riot classes between the free speech advocates of the film podcast and the RCMP riot squads in major Canadian cities such as Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. To this date, 47 Canadians have already lost their lives due to the assault on democracy. Coincidentally, psychoactive plant Salvia Divinarum was declared a Schedule Three substance in which the sale possession of the plant is deemed illegal. This was around the same period that Wendy City he was banned, so as a loyal fan, I'm here to ask the big three a favor. I was wondering if you could have Mr. Caramello smoke salvi on the podcast episode while it's still uncensored here in Canada. Never. This would be a sign of protest against the recent unconstitutional actions of the Harper administration and Parliament is a sign of support of the Canadian free speech advocates. So all in all, please help out by having Mr. Caramello honor this request. We cannot cancel so counting on you, and I honestly do not want to see any more bloodshed in my beloved country. Thank you, and God bless the big three. Sincerely, Varg, Guts, Fuck, Vikernes, Vice President of the Canadian Free Speech, Free Speech, Free Speech, Free Speech, Free Speech Freedom of Speech, Advocates Against the Canadian Ban on Windy City Heat. Wow. Pretty deep. Or is there none up there? C-F-S-A-A-C-B-O-W-C-H. It's pictures of all the riots. I, I haven't heard much about that. And ten dollars US. I'm put it right there. Put it right there. All right. A lot of money. All right, Perry. We have one last one. Why don't you read okay. this one? Here you go. That was really long. That really was long. You know, um, maybe we should shorten some of these out. It's a shout out, like, "Hey, how are you?" Not, uh, "I'm doing a book report on Canadian culture." But right, it was Perry. Really you ready? Interesting about the riots. I didn't know anything about those, but when you look at these pictures. It looks terrible. And this is all about the banning of Windy City Heat. And it's all because of that banned parliament. Downtown Toronto, riots in downtown Montreal. Uh, Can- American Embassy set a flame in Ottawa. Free speech advocate clash with federal police. Wow. I've, I thought those riots were over the um, thing that went on last summer. The the uh, riot about the uh, the ice hockey game. Yeah, why don't you fucking read the fucking letter? Okay, I'll read the fucking letter. Fucking, Okay, hail to the big three. Two weeks ago, Perry claimed that the Randy Callahan who was dis- who was disabled in 1998 is not the same one that he had a sexual encounter with. Once again, Perry is lying on the same page where Randy shows pictures of the motorized lift that he that he has that he has to sit in he has to sit in to get up and down his stairs. He talks about yeah, it's not the same Randy Callahan. He talks about how how the best days of his life were when he was uh, running a casting agency called Total Eclipse Productions, and the biggest star he ever slept with was none other than our very own Perry F. Car- no, it's not Caramello, it's Caravello. C-A-R-A-V I'm pretty sure it's Caramello, dude. V is in Victor, 
E double L O. First of all, he did spell it wrong because he spelled it with a C. It's K A R. It's C A R is in car. A V is in Victor. E double L O. They spelt it with an M. So fuck them. Now the the debate on the internet continues to intensify over that over what level of sexual gratification Perry actually reached with this man. Perry seems to be exasperating exasperating it by seeing so uh, defensive and 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 secretive about it. Is that right? Okay, secretive about it. It makes people think that that something really fishy is going on. Again, I don't I don't <clears throat> think it's too much to ask for Perry to apologize for for betraying a man with a with a crippling disability. If he does if he does, he can have the ten dollar. Otherwise, I'd like it to go to Mary Jane. As I always enjoy the wonderful pictures and promo videos she makes every week. Dimitri, Dimitri Moreland. I think now, we all like what Mary Jane does. You, you know hey, what? Let's, Dimitri! Let's give Mary Jane $10 right now. Here you go, Mary Jane. Here you are. That's for you, Mary Jane. Thank you, Mary Jane. <gasps> Thank you. Welcome. Now, about, about this Randy Callahan that is not the same Randy Callahan that... that did me. Hey, why do we get Mary Jane all the money this week? All right, let's vote on that. All right, I say yes. I like that idea. Oh, uh, I'm in. I'm in debt, so I need the money. Okay, so that's a yay or nay. I I need the money, so I mean. Okay, so it's count. a yay or nay. It's it means I it means. To look at her and say you can't well, have the money. I, she can have some of it, but I mean not all of it. Okay, so so when she skipped out on a job. For Friday, when you didn't show up, but I'm here on, but I'm here to tape today. Right, but she lost money. So you think that she should lose money because of you? <sighs> Fuck me, take it all. <laughs> all righty, here you go. I'm you, fucked. You know, I was kind of sad in the parish. I'll give you ten. I'll give you ten. There you go, Mary Jane. Here's another twenty. Here you go. Thank you, Mary Jane. Thank You're All right. Welcome. You know what? Before we close out the ten dollars shout out, I'd like to thank once again what the huck. Uh, you know, for the finest in West Hollywood Classiest, Thai cuisine. Yeah, most absolutely. delicious. By the way, what the huck is going to be selling T-shirts real soon. Sweet. So if you want, get in touch with them at three two three six five four seven nine five two. Again, what's that number, Perry? Let's see how good you can remember. Three two three six five four seven nine two two. Wrong. It's 323-654-79. Do you know what it is, Mole? What the five two. two. What the huck? For the finest in quality West Hollywood Thai food. I don't know. You like it, don't you, Mole? I'll tell I you what. I love it. What we did Are is we going to have some? No, not today because we had it on Friday oh. when Perry wasn't here. Oh. And fucked everything up. Oh. But see, Friday was Mole here. No. See, then it was good that I came today rather than Friday. I know I came by, but nothing was going on. So you're trying to say it was good that you fucked us over? Well, Mole's here today, isn't he? But are you saying that it was good that you fucked us over? It's not good that I fucked us over. It's good that Mole came today. Oh, that's nice. Because I'm really happy to have Mole back. Oh, that's nice. I'm I'm, I'm, thank God that Mole's back. Look, you know what? Don't hit on me, man, because it's creepy. Dude, I'm not hitting on you. What I'm trying to say. I know, but I heard what you did to Randy Callahan on that rock. Randy Callahan! Suck my dick! Sit down, Perry! Sit down and put the mic by you, because we can't hear you. I'll come over there and I'll beat your fucking ass. No, you won't. No, you won't. You won't beat anybody's ass. I'll kiss your fucking ass. There you go. There you go. Just like you did to Randy. Gross. Don't start acting like a tough guy because when it really comes down to it, the only thing saving you is that you broke your neck and you had a neck operation. Lucky. After you said on the internet this week that you had fucked Mary Jane, I was ready to pound the fuck out of you. I said I would fuck fuck Mary Jane. Yeah, you said that. that, I keep saying that somebody keeps... Keeps going on to my fucking webpage and using my name. Somebody's doing that on me. I, I don't know who it is. 
And I don't know how the fuck they're finding out my password either. What is your password? None of your business. Okay, is that with the spaces or is it just all none of your business altogether? Now, what things do you not want mentioned on the show? Your password? Your address? The fact that you, in fact, seduced Randy Callahan? After all these years, we thought just the opposite. You made us cry. You made us feel bad for you. You didn't cry. You didn't feel bad for me. All right, maybe not. What I did feel is that he had done something wrong to you, and now we find it's just the opposite. And now you find you're full of shit. I'm done. The show's over. Is it? I'm fucking done. Is it? I'm tired of this shit. It's over. It's over. Okay. Really? On the one-year anniversary, you want to quit? You got that right. The show is over today. Really? Why is that, Perry? It's not funny. What's not funny? You guys trying to make me look like I'm the faggot. Nobody, what? Nobody tries to make you look like you're gay. Nobody. No, thank you, oh, sir. Oh, no, thank Ruck you, Ruck you sir. Ali that's making these songs saying that, oh, Perry Caravello loves sucking fucking What dick. does it matter? What does it fucking matter? You tell me what it matters. Okay, yeah. It can what does be, it matter? It can be funny. It's a catchy but tune. I'm tired. It's an un- Play just the beginning of that song it's again. Like, I got a feeling it's a catchy tune. That tonight's going to be a good night. Yeah, you got that. that you got Perry Carroll. Be... has HIV. Listen it's to the beginning catchy of catchy tune. Listen to this. Ruckus knuckers. Let them try to find me. Let them try to find me. Show them all who the king is. Oh! Let them make their threats. Rucka Rucka Ali. He's a cocksucker and he wants to suck my dick. I gotta beat his ass. Back before you started shit, shit. Oh! Catchy. It's it's a great fucking song. It's funny. It's I, right. I, I then, will admit it's right. funny. Then why do you get upset about it? He's not going to be upset at the Grammys. He's not going to be upset when he's walking up at the Grammys. You guys are throwing and it Elton in my John face. is playing an acoustic on the piano with Rucka Rucka. So what you thinking that's going to happen? You think that at one point this song's going to be on the Grammys? Yep. Rucka Rucka Ali, and because of the controversy it caused, Elton John's going to sit in with Rucka yep. Rucka. Wow. Or Lady Gaga. That would be spectacular. And then just show like a montage of pictures of Perry blowing things. Yep. Now you see, Perry, what's wrong with that? That's funny. Grammys try to stay relevant. Funny Much way. more so than the Golden Globes. What? L- let me ask you a question and be very honest. What have you got going for yourself? You looks, got this show. Looks, talent, the jokes, the brain. The charisma. He hasn't written a new chutzpah. joke in 20 years. I haven't written, no, not 20 years, less than that. No, what do you mean? You're still doing the same. What are your bits right now? I have nothing right now. Right, and every time you've gone on stage, what did you do? You did the I'd bits sing. you did 20 years ago. No, you tried to do a joke, and what would you do? I'd bomb. You do the spaghetti routine, which is classic. Oh. But it's old. It's old. It's right. It's Waking Yeah, it's always stairway to heaven, dude. I'm not saying it's bad, but you got to write new stuff. Everything he's got is old. We give you an outlet. I don't bug you. I don't even want to see you, except the two hours that we spend here. Hey, why don't you do some stuff about your truck? Like, hey, man, what a weekend I had. I blew a hose, and my truck also overheated. It's time for the ASM plumbing and porn segment, and I believe that today we actually have a video here. From the new Terrifying Tim piece. Let me turn on the TV. He's cleaning up on this. This could have been you, Perry. This could have been you. Hi, I'm Terrifying Tim for ASM Plumbing and Porn. You want hot man-on-man films and top-notch plumbing and piping? Call ASM. Now, I may not be nearly as gay as their last spokesman, but I do know quality corn only when I see it. Let's unclog some pipes! Ooh, 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 ooh! ASM Plumbing and Porn. Tell them Terrifying Tim sent you. Ooh, 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 ooh. How the fuck did they uh, oh, a splice it where they got some cock in my hands or, or, in, or in somebody's hands to where it makes it look like it's me? What are you talking about? It's a picture of you. 
but I'm not grabbing onto some dick. Look. That's not me Look. hanging onto a That's dick. That's you. How they get That's a not... picture of you with your cock? You gave him the picture. That's a but, lie. But back that up. You're a liar. You're a filthy liar. Let's watch this again. You're a filthy liar. Look me eye to eye and tell me that you did. Did I give them that picture? No, I did not. Well, where the fuck did they get the picture of me with that with that uh, with that neck brace on with all the signatures look, on it? Look at it. Where did they get that photograph with all all the signatures on that fucking neck brace? Okay, they huh? took a picture from the Ding Dong Show, obviously. And then they spliced in a penis and somebody's holding it. Well, that was it's not me. All right, there you go. I think ASM's going to be disgusting. very happy with that. Fucking disgusting. That was intense. All right, so that's ASM Plumbing and Porn for all your plumbing and hardcore man-on-man porn concerns. That's 440-731-9338. ASM Plumbing and Porn. Well, the new spokesman's great. Think about that. That so, could have been you, Barry. Whatever. I like when he said, I may not be as gay as the last spokesman. Hey, did we ever close out the $10 shout out? Nope. Well, that was today's $10 shout out. $10 shout out. Now, Nick is your agent or manager. Nick, Nick is- in New York is my business manager. And a long, long, long old time friend. And Hank Greenberg, what was he to you? Hank Greenberg was supposed to be my agent. Do Where you he remember? Go? He took off. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen him in quite I haven't a while. seen him or heard from him. I've called him quite a few times, and he's never called back. What did he do that one time? He he brought over a girlfriend, a very pretty young lady, and uh, <laughs> nothing came of it. Oh, did you go out with her? Never went out with her. I never spoke to her after that. Do you remember when he put into a contract for you that each show you'll get 60 seconds of airtime to do whatever you want? Go! God damn. Yeah, let's talk about Scary Perry Skateboards. That's Scary Perry Skateboards at www.scaryperry, S-C-A-R-Y, P-E-R-R-Y, Skateboards, which is spelled out S-K, the number eight, and boards, B-O-A-R-D-S dot com. You go online to Scary Perry Skateboards, and there are five decks to choose from. You got the eight-inch popsicle, the nine-inch popsicle, the t- the the two, the actual three ten-inch boards to skate on. You have the old school 1979 taper tail. Uh, what is that? A 32 long, yeah, 10 by 32 concave. You have the double kicks, the two double kicks. I have a brand new uh, black on, yeah, black on black. Uh, it's a reversal uh, uh, skate deck. It's uh, what I call the back in black skateboard. Oh, that's right. That's where uh, ACDC is not going to sue me. They are my friends. I actually wrote to them to let them know that you've done that. Oh, so really? We'll see. Yeah. Let's see what they do. All right, we'll see. They're they're, they're very nice people, and I'm very- stop. That was all cool. right. That was sixty that was seconds with Perry. <laughs> Always the fuck with me in my commercial. Today, here we are. It's it's uh, another fine day in West Hollywood, California. Our studio, a secret location. It's just three guys sitting around talking about the ladies. What time is it, Mole? It's time it's for... Like four, no, 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 no. It's time for Guy oh. Talk. Oh, yeah. It's Guy Talk. Gonna talk about the ladies. God talk. Ooh. Well, once again, another guy talk. Now, a little earlier, Mole, Perry was talking about some ladies he had been with. He'd gone out on two dates, I believe. Plus, there was somebody that wanted him to do a movie. And he was gonna sleep with her, but things didn't work out. Perry, now about these two dates, who'd you go out with? Terry and her daughter. Terry and her daughter? Yeah. So you did a mother-daughter thing. Well, we didn't What's have Terry sex. What's Terry Anfluzo's l- and daughter's Fluzo. name? What's Jamie. Her? Jamie Anfluzo? No, she's been married twice. How old is she? Uh, 10 years younger than me. I'm 47. She's she's um, 37. Wow. A quick math there. Uh, and she's been married twice, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Twice that I know of. Is she good least. looking? 
she's gaining weight again, and I don't like it. I mean, she had her did, stomach did, stapled and everything. Did you tell her about that? I, I kept my mouth shut, but I told Terry after uh, after I came home. And what I, did, I, I just don't like what's going on with Jamie. What did Terry say about that? Well, she says, I know, and I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm trying to help her out and stuff. And, and we even spoke about it over dinner. You know, about, so you go about, out to dinner with the mother and daughter team. Yeah. Take it from there. Go. Well, I went. I took Terry out to, to dinner. And Terry I took her, and her. Terry and Jamie out to dinner. and her, what, do you, Who paid? I paid. How much? Really? A little over 100 And really? where'd you go? To the Double Tree. Wow, it must be nice to have all that money. What money? What fucking a, money? Wait, just, the Double Tree Hotel? In in uh, Torrance. Yeah. Like the, the off, restaurant that's off, inside the Double Tree? Yes. Wow, that's, that's living. Was. Yeah, I think, yeah. What'd well, you we, get? I don't remember. It was appetizers and drinks. Okay, did you get like calamari? I, like I said, I don't remember. Come on, scare I don't remember. You remember. Ate. All right. You got the sliders? No sliders. All right, let's you go. Got, After dinner, you're back in their place. I wasn't back How in their place. How do you start place. things up? Spin a jar to joke dip? It was after dinner. We walked out to our cars and yeah. we all left. What? Pretty hot. Yeah, we, we didn't have sex. That's a date? It was a, just a dinner get-together. I have a rule. If I'm not coming, it ain't a date. Well, <laughs> I have a if rule, too. If he ain't too. coming, he's a bumming. That's a good that, one. That's... I had to get a T-shirt with that on it. <clears throat> Look, I mean, Jamie had her boyfriend come, too. You brought her boyfriend? Uh, oh, that's Yeah, gross. Jamie had her boyfriend there. Did you pay for him? Yeah, I paid for everybody. What? Why? And you didn't get gentleman. any sex out of it? It's been a long time. I haven't been with Terry for quite a while. Terry so, at least. So Terry said, oh, Scaremaster, I know you're broke, but how so about taking me, was... well, take me to dinner or drinks and appetizers? I can't afford that. How about drinks and appetizers? Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring my daughter. That sounds great. And her boyfriend. Oh, okay. Did it's she good. at least? They gave me a few bucks. Did they jerk you off under the table Not with their feet? at the fucking restaurant. So it happened later. later Let's get to that point. It didn't happen at all. Dude, I haven't seen them in quite a while, and I, I mean, haven't been with her in, by, by myself in quite a while. And Jamie, you know, like I said, Terry, Jamie, and I haven't been together for or a the, long And time. the boyfriend, and the boyfriend. The boyfriend, somebody new. He's a funny, funny guy. What's his name? I forgot what his name was. Ted, no, I, Steve, I forgot. I Neil, forgot. Lance, I Alan, Mark, Frank, I Sal, don't remember Jeff, what his name was. Craig, Ken, Kent, I, Levi. Maurice. My mind is my mind is blank when it comes. Steve, to Steve, Todd, Steve, Todd, Greg. I don't know. Tito, OJ. Okay, his name was OJ Simpson. Whoa. Have you ever met what? He's That's alive. No, are you serious? No, I'm just joking. And OJ didn't pay for anything. I'm just joking. No, it's, it's not very funny, no. dude. Not funny at you all. You guys are assholes. That's why I'm not uh, being funny. Okay? It's not nice. I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm going through a lot of fucking shit these days. Like what? I, I'm not going to lay. Li I'm not opening up on anything. So don't even ask. This I'm show what? we're supposed to talk about this our own show personal lives talk about and our own pop personal culture. Lives. Pop culture We've talked about and pop Scary culture. Perry shit. And our well, own personal time, lives. Scary Perry ain't talking shit about nothing. Yeah, you see, here's the thing, Mole, and, I, and I'm going to have to defend Perry on this one. Think about this. Perry can come and go as he pleases. It doesn't matter. If he's got a problem, he can take it out on us. This next segment we do is clearly the best thing that we do on this podcast. You know what? I would compare it with The Sopranos as far as great entertainment They goes. are good singers. They sure are. It's time once again for Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Now, I'm not sure. Are you supposed to say something before? Mole Play is in no way related to Mole Play, the board game, and division of Perpetic Industries. And if you are a child who has eaten the game piece from Mo Play the Board Game and you are being kept alive by life support and somebody pulls the plug, it is not our fault. Okay, now Mo Play is an improv game that we play here on the show. 
This is where Mo will set up a scenario. He'll set the cast. Then he'll direct a scene. Hey, Mo, what are we going to be doing today on Mo Play? Today we travel way back to last Friday. We head to the freeway where Scaremaster has just blown a hose. And also his car is messed up. So here's Scaremaster waiting, desperate for some help, when out of nowhere comes the tow truck driver, Triple A Man, in his gleaming uniform. Scaremaster, you're going to play the tow truck driver, Big Joe the tow truck driver. Dan, you're going to play Scaremaster, who's desperate for Joe to tow his car, no matter what it takes. Ready? Mo play. Oh, my back hurts. My arm. Oh, it's finally you got here. You fuck it. Why? Excuse me, sir. Can I have your AAA card, please? My arm hurts. My mom died. Everything's going to. It's the worst day ever. Go fuck yourself. No, you fuck yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. Give me your AAA card, sir, so I can uh, tell you where you need to go and where you need to go. Actually, I... Master knows the only way to get this toe is to turn on the charm. I'm sorry that I yelled at you. You know, let me tell you this. You were the greatest. If it wasn't for you, I know that. And I, sometimes I'm an asshole. And you probably heard about what I did to Randy Callahan. You probably heard the song, so I'm done. Goodbye. For what? What? We're not done with the whole I can't leave. You'll lose your triple A status. It's over. You'll lose your triple A status if you leave someone by the side of the road. You better take that shit back because you're you're treating me. You better. My arm, my back hurts. I lost my hose. I blew a hose today. And that was Mo Play. Mo Play, Mo Play, let's play Mo Play. Mo Play, Mo Play, let's play Mo Play. Mo Play. Yeah, there you go. Well, that was a good mole play. Well, here we go. And once again, just to show you, Perry, you argue about everything. But here we go again. What's going to argue We're going to do the worst thing on this show, a thing that everybody says, don't do Perry's Corner anymore. It sucks. Perry's terrible. He never is prepared. So we're going to try it again. And I just want to show you your unprofessionalism. Here's another Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Oh, and Perry. So Perry's so unprepared, and look at I got my sheets in front of me. You guys love to talk about me being a racist pig and homophobic and all that shit. Did you not use the N word a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And why did I see on the news that Perry owned a hunting camp with the word N head? Yeah. Hunting camp on it. And then you tried to push it. But the that's price. the wrong Perry. No, it's a that's Perry Rick. owns camp. That's right. Rick that Perry. Perry. And you, and you paint it over it immediately. And, and then they found camp. out later from neighbors that you didn't paint it immediately. So you lied in I the press. I am not Rick Perry. I am Perry Caravello. K-A-R. C-A-R. We'll see about that. Uh. And I love the belch in your fucking ears. Are you done with your corner yet? No, I'm not a racist pig. Yes, you are. But I am Italian. The first four, or the first three or four racist terms out of us wops over here. That's one. Why? Yeah, like guinea wop dago douchebag. That's the, bada bing. That's four. Guinea wop dago douchebag. That's us Italians. We like the fuck Greasy around. Greasy piles of shit. Use that That's as five. Name. Greasy piles of shit. <laughs> You know, but but you know, I sh- I shower. I'm clean. I show up here when I'm supposed to be. You don't here. stink right now. No, I hope not. Mary Jane, come here I'm for sorry, a second. I'm sorry, but last Mary week, Jane, Mary Jane, you just went by Perry. Does he smell? I can't smell now, but earlier when he got upset, he farted and it was really gross. Huh? I've never seen you oh, use a bodily me. function God to make it Christ. disgusting. You just, you just all right. That's it. That was today's. Perry's Corner.
It's Perry's Corner. Well, we're coming towards the end of the show. And first of all, I will say this. Mole, it is wonderful to see you. Ah, thanks, dude. It's wonderful to be here. On our one-year anniversary of starting our first show, Mole comes back, Welcome and I'm very back. happy. Welcome back, uh, Mole. Perry, as usual, you handle yourself like a prof- unprofessional, unprofessional. douchebag, as usual. Completely professional. Now, hey, Mole. Yeah? Mole, what we might have going on here is something kind of cool. Vampirism? Well, as you know, right now we're in the middle of the baseball playoffs. We got the Brewers and the Cardinals in the National League. Yeah, we do. And the Tigers and the Rangers in the American League. Wouldn't it be great if we had the Brewers and the Tigers in the World Series? That'd be cool. Be great for those two towns, great American towns. Yeah, seeing all those alcoholics feed those those uh, car employees. Yeah, listen, it's not like in Chicago wow. that we just beat the fuck out of you and your fucking bears oh, on yeah. Monday Night Football. Anyway, hey, so coming up soon, Halloween. Are you going to go out with us on Halloween, Perry? Where, when, how, and why? Uh, the Ding Dong Show. We go down to Santa Monica Boulevard. With all those uh, Tutti Fruities? Well, I prefer to call them the homosexual community, but yes. I'm going to stay as far away from that those I'm going to stay as far away from those people as I possibly can. But you said you were going <laughs> to go down there because Carol was going to be there. She's going to meet us at the Rainbow Bar and Grill that night. No, she's not. So that's today's show. Uh You know, wow, it, that was intense. That it, was an intense show, Dan. It sure was. Well, if you want to get in touch Same with way. us on the social network, don't forget I'm at facebook.com Don Barris Facebook.com, Perry F. Caravello, and that's K A R V E L L. Walter Molinitsky on Facebook, Windy City Heat, an American hero, and the new spokesman for ASM Plumbing and Porn, Tim Propedic, The Ding Dong Show. Get in touch with me on Twitter at Simply Don One. You got Gary Perry 818 on Twitter. You know what? We haven't done this in two weeks. Put it out there, guys. Big Happy anniversary, dudes.